if you can just look around facing the ocean this side and in front of us you'll see an open land there's no houses it's called the district six why is it called the district six during the um, 1800 era Cape Town had about six municipalities, of which this area was the sixth municipality. So it became this uh, called the District Six because of those six municipalities. It was called the District Six, and in this area. Uh, as I was upset to you, they were, uh, the Dutch East India Company came with a lot of slaves from the different parts of the world. And then after the slavery was abolished, so slaves were freed. So when the slaves were freed, they came to stay in District 6, together with the black people, with the colored people, with the Indian people. They came and stayed here in District 6. I remember that um, when the government uh, of the uh, uh, before even apartheid in 1913 the white people took the land from the hands of the ownership. They took about the minority white people they took the minor they took about 87 percent of the land including the mines the mining industry in the asset into into themselves they gave the black people and other races 13 percent of the land so we're left with 13 percent of the land the majority of this country so upon that in in the 1950s what the government did when they took the land they uh, there, there, there were there were clauses that were passed by the government. I'm talking about the the 1913 Land Act, um, uh, the Segregation Act of 1927, of 1923. Sorry, the Segregation Act of 1923. When all the people of the color, like the black color, I'm gonna say, Kosa speaking. Zulu speaking, Sotho speaking, Tswana speaking, Pedi speaking, Venda speaking, uh, Shangan speaking, they were given their own what was called the Bandu stands. The government formed the 10 Bandu stands in the country to allocate those people. So I'm going to make an example in the Eastern Cape, that is today. There were two Bandu stands. That is the region of the Kosa original speaking people. On the coastline west, that was called a Bandu stand that was called Siskai. On the inland, the Bandu stand that was called Transkai. If you were coming from 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 Transkai or Siskai, coming into the big coming to the big city. You were regarded as a foreigner coming from the Bandu stand or from a, a homeland into the Republic. We were in Transkai, we had our own passports, the government. We had to do our. I'm gonna make an example of where we were born in Transkai. Transkai is on the inland, has got about 53 towns, small towns. One prime minister, one government. So, it was also controlled also by the government, although we were independent. We were not independent. We got our independence in Transkai in October, 26th of October, 1976. That's when we had to do our own affairs as a, as a, as a band stand of Transkai. We got our independence in 1976, and then we were not, we were not the part of Republic or of South Africa. So, coming back to the issue of the District Six, as the years go by, 
rolling on the, the story. The government in 1960, uh, in 1950, yes, in 1950, they formed what was called this, um, the Group Areas Act. Group Areas Act in 1950. So people were, had to stay according to their race. Colored, Indian, Black. So in 1966, the government started to say, or in 1965, they said they are going to remove people from the city because this area was designated only for white people. It was only for white people. Wow. The city. Everybody up. What does the removal look like? I'm coming. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm coming there. So, remember that in this area, there were the majority of people that were living here were colored people, the black people and the Indians. And those people that were living here, they had art. There was an art, more especially in music. The, the, those were, uh, there were groups of musical groups that were coming here that came from this area. In 1966, remember that also there were the, there were people that were that were the Jewish people. There were schools and synagogues here. So in 1966, the government in February of 1966, they removed people forcefully out of this area about 65,000 people that removed from this area. On the eastwards, others towards the ocean. There is a, a big uh, colored community there that is, is, is one of the massive uh, community. It's called Mitchell's Plain. They moved towards that side. They put them in a barren land with, with nothing else. They had to find themselves before they are going to start. What does forceful removal look like exactly? Forceful removal. They bulldozed. Oh, okay. They bulldozed the houses and the apartments that they were staying in. If you refuse to leave, can you explain what happened? If you refuse? Yeah. They would shoot you. Oh, okay. Just want to make sure you make so it. Yeah. like there's nothing, yo. Yeah. They would shoot they, you. They, they mean business. They would, they would, they would, <laughs> they would shoot you. And what, the, what they, they provided was, was, was those big trucks to help you to, rem to take your belongings and to where they were going to put you. Was there any record of the lives lost in this process? Uh, Do you know how many people were killed in this process? <laughs> the people that were removed, it was 65,000 people. You, have, you know how many died? Nobody died, but because the people didn't refuse, oh, okay. they complied with the government's, I mean, uh, uh, This shit is yeah. torn down, I ain't know where to come back to. So you said there were Jewish people in synagogues in this area? Yes, the, the, the only, the, the only, they removed everything, but the only thing, there were two buildings that were, were not removed, were the synagogues and schools. Everything was demolished. Everything was demolished. Did the Jewish people have them off? They, 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 they were removed. Only the synagogues and the schools that were removed. Nothing was left behind. Okay, so the synagogues and schools were removed as well? Were not. We're not. Okay. Yeah, we're and not. And so after this forced removal, of the colored people in District uh, 6. Yes. What filled the area? Did, did, who was allowed to stay? Yeah, who was allowed to stay? And who built who built all the... No, it's it's this... Is, 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 is this open space that I'm talking about? Okay. Is this open land? So, they made everybody leave and never developed it? No. Not yet. No. Nothing happened. So they made them leave just because they didn't want to be. Yes, they said they because they said it's a, it's it's a white it's a it's a white area. It belongs to the white only to the white people. Okay, so I want to know: <clears throat> were other whites here with the Jews, or were they just Jewish whites here? We're, we're, we're just Jewish people. Oh, just Jewish. People. Just Jewish. So even though they were colonized by yes. the Dutch and the British, yes, only the Jewish people lived in District Six after the removal. No, no, no Jewish never lived. They were, they were also removed. Oh, I'm okay. saying there were Jewish people, there were people that were Jewish, that were, were, were worshipping in the synagogues. Okay. But they were also removed. Okay. But only the schools and the, and the synagogues were not, were not demolished. The reason okay. be, I don't know. Okay. And those people, Jewish people that, that were removed here, 
So a lot of them that moved to C point. In in C point, there's a lot of of uh, there's uh, about forty percent of the Jewish uh, community that is in C point, and there are synagogues also there now in C point on the okay. seaside. Okay. So, but, but, the, but but they put the black and the colored people in the barracks. Yes, and the Indians. Start. Yes, they move they they move them away. To where? To 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 Mitchell's Plain, um, Kensington. That that is the that is the biggest area that they live, that that they went to. So any questions? So we are going to drive. We are going to drive right and see some of the uh, foundations that we can just we can identify that uh, they were just um, uh, demolished because of the of the. Hello. I, I yes. Yes. So that area over there is that all white? Those yeah. Homes? Yeah. So yeah. that's all white. Yeah, it's all white. So that has remained until today. Yes. So this is an all white area. Yeah. When did they do the um? What, was, what year was that? When they 1966 on the 11th of February. Oh, okay. So they had a year. They had planned yes. like they do with just Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Understood. That is it. This mm -hmm. moment to these. People literally, this is what they, they're legendary is legendary uh, displacing us as a people. Even, these are these are similar things going oh. on currently in America. Huh? So, so the same uh, the same the same here? things that you face here, the same things that we face as black people everywhere else. Yeah. We, so that's we why got, we always. We got go. Do you want to stop yeah. for a second? He wants to okay. take a picture. Here. Okay. So 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 Okay. Oh yeah. yeah. So yes, family. You want to take you know, pictures? We, yeah, because we gotta we'll be back in and hear you. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks. I know you want to drop in the chest right now. That's how I feel. Right. It's gonna be the best thing. Do you know what? I don't know about all that. Thank you. Yeah, you take take an aerial shot. The, the, the be the last remaining black man in District Six. And so, family, District Six again. Forceful removal of black African people. White people claim land that doesn't belong to them. These people are legendary. We're doing these things. So that's why we keep a good fight going. We're educating our people so we can organize and invest in each other and build what we need to build so we can be a strong people.